I want to be very clear about this. This trade that I'm about to show you, this trade idea, is is risky in the sense that it involves a abnormally or above average volatile group of stocks. And the stocks in question are cannabis stocks. Um, why are they volatile? Well, it's, it's sort of an emerging industry, at least the medical um, medical marijuana industry as in a lot of the headline risk, a lot of the news flow comes from basically regulatory issues. Um, cannabis getting approved or things being delayed and this and that. Just yesterday the House passed a bill to uh, potentially legalize it uh, or ban the, get rid of the ban nationwide in the United States. So we've seen a bit of a pop in those stocks and, and I wonder if we've maybe seen a near-term bottom in these names. So um, there's a lot of fundamental stuff and just a lot of crosswinds happening here. I actually believe this industry has a, has a very bright future. That's very different, though, from the shorter-term time frame that we're going to look at right now. So I'm just going to look at a, a chart here to kind of give you some perspective on why I think the downside has been a bit overdone and that the odds of a bit of a further squeeze higher at least for a trade for right now, or, or, or to me, look pretty good. So to do that, we are going to have a look at an ETF that represents these marijuana stocks. And the ticker symbol is MJ, which is um, an ETF. You can see it here. It hasn't existed for a terribly long time. I think the, from a liquidity perspective, really, it didn't start getting liquid until probably around the second half or maybe the first part of 2018. What's interesting though is that the entire group has been under massive or just permanent distribution here over the um, most pretty much a good part of 2019. So you can see this here, it's pretty clear that's been a pretty nasty move to the downside. What's been interesting though is that we have seen from a momentum perspective, and this is pretty technical, but I'll go into some other stuff here in a minute. We're starting to see what's called positive divergence between price and momentum. So you can see that as this ETF has been dropping since April or May of this year, we continue to make lower lows in momentum. So momentum continued to push lower, but now we just recently made a low here early this week, and you can see that momentum is so far, at least, so far making what's called a higher low versus those lows down here. So this is a so far higher low versus that. Now, interestingly enough, we've seen a bunch of um, earnings reports out of this industry over the past few days. And what that's done is that's basically brought about another selling spree into these stocks. So I'm going to get very close into this. And as a result, what's happened is that I think we're finally started to get exhaustive selling. The question is, if, is, is if this bounce is just going to be another one of these, a counter trend bounce, or if we are in the early days of putting in a more solid bottom where something like this ETF could um, start rallying, you know, much more meaningfully, maybe, you know, at least into I'm gonna say the low 20s. That's the question I'm pondering right now. If you look at this a bit more closely, I'll give you guys an idea. I just shared this one of our members, by the way. Over on the market rover, um, what I noticed I, is I started scanning for, uh, for cannabis stocks. So I went into the, uh, where is this thing? The cannabis um, thing here. I clicked on that and then I started ranking them by B2 bullish reversals. And one of the stocks that came up is one called Canopy Growth. You can see it right here, right? And it gave us a B2 bullish reversal. And um, that's interesting because it very much rhymes with what this ETF is doing. That's not a big coincidence. Canopy Growth is uh, CGC, CGC is a thicker symbol, is one of the um, largest holdings of this ETF. Uh, and you can see basically what I showed you on the chart of the ETF. This here 
is um, is what the stock has done. Give us that exhaustion selling and then a B2 bullish reversal with follow through buying here yesterday. So um, I'm not going to give you the exact trade setup that one was reserved for our paying members. But I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of what's going on here and, and one thing that we're thinking about here. So basically, to put it very simply, if this move here yesterday gets erased, like if, for example, today this entire move gets erased, that would already quite very quickly get rid of this thesis that we may have found a near-term bottom. But nonetheless, I think the odds here are pretty interesting uh, for this group of stocks potentially starting to move higher here into the uh, end of the year. So anyway, folks, um, just uh, my opinion here. Um, I'm not saying this is right. It's just something to look at if you enjoyed this. If you have commentary and questions, uh, leave them down below. Give us a thumbs up, like, and uh, share the channel. Take care.